your boys, play along with us. Smoke weed every day. Oh, oh yeah. So we are Bach is the world's most smoked out podcast. And uh, yep. we got our guests. They're finally here. You know what I'm saying? Um, yo, it's a, it's a special honor to have our guest in the house today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man's have been burning up the fucking Toronto scene as well as just the fucking scene all over the world. You know what I'm saying? We, once you got a track that's doing like at least two, three, four million on fucking YouTube, yeah. then for sure it's more than just Toronto's hearing it. You got people all over the world hearing yep, that. Yeah, you know you know And so with no further ado, I got K Money in the building. Yeah, yeah, what up, what up? Ah, and bomb, he's brought bomb. some guests. He's got he brought Casper, right the on, neighborhood cool, ghost. Right Casper, cool, the neighborhood cool, ghost of the building, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he brought RK. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's let's get right to it. You know what I'm saying? It's the group. It's the group. You know what I'm saying? 2018 is the group right here. Yeah. So is there a name to the, the group? Menace Music. Okay, you know, Menace Music. All right, making sure. Menace Music. MG4 Mmm. So okay. I always start off the top with a generic, what uh, what was your first rap name type of thing. But I heard, I was listening to the interview last night with my man DJ Ritz, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but K Fendo, I've seen that as an old name. It's not my name. Hmm? I'm not K Fendo. No, but if that was like an old name before that. What no, was it? Was, no? That's the next, that's the next, next. guy. Oh, that's wow. That's another rapper, that's another rapper. Wow, wow. Right. wow. Crazy, right? That's not no, good. no, no, because God, uh -huh. there's a lot of shit online, you know what I'm saying? It's a real key money. No, no, and yeah, we'll get to that. We're gonna get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. Shout out to him, too, though. He does have an album yeah. in Toronto. He has that Welcome to Toronto. Exactly. Yes, and I exactly. wasn't, I didn't have um really a song at that time. When he okay. dropped Welcome to Toronto, I didn't, I had one song with with the, th these two and one other person so that's like okay. it's not really the whole yeah, going around the name right for sure for sure so it wasn't until my next video after that that i was like okay it's set, this guy's came on it so now both of them are named came on it you know who else i seen there's a white youth with the next guy he i thought it was ty um 902 or ty, ty, ty 902 with him but it's k money and ty nine or some shit like that and i'm like who the fuck is this guy but it was like way lower in the YouTube fucking um, search, you know what I'm saying? But fuck all that, okay? Tell me about, like, let's go further back, okay? As a downtown man, okay? Alexander Park, mm -hmm. okay? I remember I used to fuck with a chick around there, actually. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the P.O. days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Every, everyone did, right? Everyone did that one. <laughs> Trust me, that's, 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 a, that's a nice little spot, and I think the Grange and shit is, is around there, you know what I'm saying? That, that, yeah. them, them them grimy times boys. those days those those days in the 90s trust me <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell me about like teenage life in the downtown area what you say? like your teenage life in the downtown area like younger life you know what i mean younger life oh teenage if you're talking about teenage i was just like i was just cooling i was, like, I was doing doing my thuggy just get it like every like every other every other um growing up Young black male in the city mm. doing well, I'm not saying everybody doing whatever they're doing, right? Cops trying to pin the whatever on them, whatever. Because it's different for downtown, right? Like, I know for like all these different cats in different ends, they're only like secluded to their ends most of the time, but everybody has to come downtown like a Carabana time. Mm. What's Carabana time like for you? Like, I don't go to Carabana. You don't fuck with that shit? I don't go to Carabana. Nah, eh? Every oh, year something yeah. happens I care about. Why am I going to yeah. care about? I went in like twenty fourteen was bad. Yeah? And uh, someone got stabbed at the end though, but it was messed though. Jeez. Um, cool and though. But other than that, like anything I mean anything that people come to for an attraction downtown are so used to it already, so it's not even like whatever. Like, exactly. You know as long as people come down We'll go to Eaton Center and thing like kill you know, like put it on their Snapchat, sir. Show the CN Tower. Like we walk outside our door and we see the CN Tower. Like we're just like fuck. Like this is CN Tower. Dude. Exactly. Yeah, it's just like in our backyard. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. So true. You know so it's, it's like a different lifestyle for like the fucking downtown cat. Because downtown there's everything. You know, you're from downtown, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the West End. There's a bunch of shootings and shit. Mm. The East End. It's kind of quiet, and there's a one two that goes on over there, but it's more like they have they do their thing. They're like, 
they rob niggas and shit. They're the B and E guys. Yeah, you know those yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. B and E's and they rob niggas, hit stains and shit. Yeah. Downtown, there's all of that. There's everything. There's the shootings. Then there, then there's, then there's the, then there's the, the you know like there's everything, every aspect of it. Then you then then you have the club district right there. Mm. Then you have Chinatown right there. Kensington Market with a bunch of hipsters and shit. Like, it's just a whole weird mixture, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And and everybody, and I always say this, no matter what, when you're downtown, no matter what ends you're from, you eventually have to come downtown. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Even if it's just yeah. to be like, yo, I came downtown. Fast and through, whatever. Yeah. Buy that sneakers or something, you know what I mean? Carabana's right in my neighborhood, basically. So it's like, it ain't yeah, nothing sure? new. Parkdale. Oh, Parkdale. Okay. That's like yeah, yeah. It's a, right there. the parade goes right yeah, through. Right through like, Parkdale. whoop de do. It's like something. You see it every year exactly. for your whole life. You're just like exactly for the last how many years I've seen it, yeah. and it ain't nothing that's, you know, that's oh, it used to be fly, but now it's just oh, it's another weekend. You know. So okay, let's get into like the hip hop stuff. Mm-hmm. What was your repeat tune that you used to <clears throat> listen to back in the days? Like, what was in your headphones on repeat, regular, regular? Well, I'm young. I'm only 18, mm. so I'm not gonna sit here in front like I was listening to these <laughs> fucking like yeah, yeah. Right back in the days. So nah, just just tell us who you're listening to. I was listening to everything, to be honest. Mm. Listening to everything. I was just, I won't, I was listening to like everything. Oh, y, YMCMB type stuff. That happened when I was like what 13, mm. when YMCMB had their prime time. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Tiger Drake. Low Wayne, mm, Nicki Minaj, the so all these yeah. guys. Good, good, uh, so they're all snap. I was fuck with their tones. Jake was snap and the, the, the. I was listening to everything. Like I want like that's probably why I my sound is how it sounds today. So listen to everything and then those times <coughs> was like Jake was bringing in like the melody type things. You know what I'm saying? Like, but not on a whole R and B type thing. You know what I'm saying? It's melodies. Yeah. I was listening to everything though. So. I like studio, right? Because you started doing the music first, Casper, right? Yeah. As the, as the older brother, right? Because yeah. y'all are brothers. Like, I, I don't know a lot of people know this, right? Like, as far as, like, they watch on YouTube, they don't, they don't get all the information, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the fittest guy, probably would to make music. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, who inspired you to make music, Casper? Like, what made you, like... He said, like, I was just listening to everything, though, like... Like, like this? No, no, filters. R and B shit. Mm-hmm. Chris Brown and things. Yeah, like I got, I got a, I got a, I got a for Christmas a H and B, um, gift card, and I bought a Chris Brown album for that for for it. Like I didn't really know what Chris Brown was, but I didn't have nothing to buy. It. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I was like, I don't listen to albums like you know, what I'm so I just whatever. I bought that. I listened to it. I was like, yo, Chris Brown goes hard. But I was like, super young, like eleven or something. Oh. And he had that run it track, but and then boom, I was listening to Chris Brown. I was listening to Drake. Like when I got into like high school, then that's when like that EXO OVO thing started going off with the weekend and stuff. So, so what's the age difference? A few years. Okay, okay. I'm 21. He's 18. Okay, okay. And and you are K. What? <laughs> you do not forget RK. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just took that in. Um. Okay. Like, what were you listening to? Your, like, in I'm not gonna say Walkman because we old ass niggas, we were listening to Walkmans. So y'all were probably like just iPod. No, iPod no, like, no, I, I can't forget French Montana, too. Ah. French Montana's a super big influence when he had the whole wave, like, had the, the he was he because Drake had the melodies, mm. but French Montana had like the Max B wave mm-hmm. with the melodies and the trap <coughs> shit at the same time, so it was like sing it like. Hood R and B, like you okay. know those ones. So yeah, was, that's when I started. Like, oh, like what is this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the way yeah. Be, like, Speaking of your interest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, man, honestly, I grew up off of like everything, bro. Like, like old school shit. Yeah, see, those nineties R and B. Nineties R and B. Fucking okay, family okay. function. Uh, grown folk music. Grown folk yeah, music. When they're all there are just, newer grown folk. Yeah, you know when they're all just dancing in the in the room and shit, and you're just there like what's going on? Like, yeah, why yeah, everybody yeah. dancing together? <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, so first studio experience. Let's let's get to that. Like, how was the first time you're in the studio? Let's start. Let's start with you, K Money. Like, first studio experience. Fuck. Uh, 
Like, what do you mean? When I ever record it? First? Yeah, like the first time you ever recorded a tune and you're like, yo, you know what? Shit. I fucking do this shit still, bro. Shit, nice. The yeah. first. That the, nigga. Yeah, it was that nigga. A lot of people probably think it's if, if they're a real fan and you and and they've been watching, they'll think it's up because so it up, up was the first. No, up was just the first song that we dropped. <coughs> so oh, yeah. the first time I ever recorded in the studio was was, uh, was that nigga, and I was a proud, it was a sick track too, to be honest. See, see, and and like, I was after I was after this shit. I was after that. I mean, I went over there. I was just like, fuck, I'm gonna just try because I was showing everybody the song from before, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they were all like, fuck, yeah, this track's so awesome. This track's crazy. Go record it. Da, da, da. So eventually, I just went in there. So I was already kind of amped up because I had the hype around. I thought it was a banger. I was telling him it's a banger, right? And then I, he helped on it. He helped on it. Mm-hmm. And then it was more I'm coming out by myself. You know, you know what and like, what's the approach? You come with like the. Uh, Verses and shit, or like you hear a beat and you're like, boom, let me throw this melody down. That track was, <coughs> I was I, I, it was the melody, yeah. <coughs> yeah, that track, it was the melody. I heard the, I heard the beat and then I made it. Through. I was just tweaking. I was like 15. Mm. I was just tweaking. I was just chilling with my niggas all day, cool and sipping, laying and fucking tweaking, doing whatever the fuck you do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I, was just, I was just a tweaking little kid. I just went home, fuck. That happened. I was like, okay. Boom, it just went in. Yeah. Fuck. But I grew up around the studio and shit, too. And then my dad makes music and stuff like that, so I was already going there as a kid. And, mm-hmm. there, there. and then he started going to the studio, so I was going to the studio, oh, too. Okay. I already <laughs> so I was already that in funny. the studio. I was just never moving, <laughs> and I'd sit watch. Yeah. So eventually, was your time up? Eventually, yeah. Yeah, yeah eventually. Trust me, and like, yeah, we, fuck, we always do our research, so we know you guys have the musical background and shit like that, with niggas Crazy. fucking, yeah. niggas didn't have much music love and all that shit, like with y'all pops and all that shit too, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, so it's, it's just a natural transition for men to get into music, you know, yeah, know what I'm saying? for sure. Trust me, dog. And like, <clears throat> even like with the way y'all do the tracks and stuff, is it like, is it calculated or like, from what you're saying, it sounds like a, a real, just a free process, you know what I'm saying, but like, all the tunes just have something that you can just vibe to like there's like a one thing in it man that's cause we're vibe. that's cause we're fucking vibing when we make it like we're, we're like, you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. we're in the studio smoking you know what I'm saying sip something you know, whatever get in the get in the little you know what I'm saying wave and we're living life man. whatever comes out comes out we just it's just a everything we rap about is just our experience and shit Facts, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, we're just cool and we're just cool and we're doing what we do and then we're rapping about it. Yeah. <laughs> what I find and then I, and and, by, and I have to say this, I know what's going on YouTube. A lot of niggas be like, niggas, yo, yeah, niggas, uh, uh, they just make the yeah, do this shit so they can make music and yeah, da, 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 so they can rap about it. No, brother, it's not like that, brother. It's, mm. uh, we live what we rap about. What can I do? What can <coughs> For sure. I live what I rap about. Yeah. <laughs> when was that ever known to be a bad thing? No, no it's not. Talking about? It's not facts. It's not doing shit so that you can rap about <coughs> it. Live what you rap about. It's like better yet, live what you rap about. <laughs> live what you rap about. Too. Yeah, yeah. I used to get that a lot of times back in the days. Like, yo, why the motherfucker need to rap? Rap niggas is rapping what the fucking niggas is living. You know what I mean? What, what the real niggas is living. You know what I mean? But like, but it's like a, a lot of real niggas out. rap too. Exactly. <laughs> but it's just like. Once you get to a certain point, you can't rap and be doing dirt at the same time. You know yeah. what I'm it's like you got to be able to separate the two. You have to not even separate the two. It's you're gonna choose one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. fuck, like, I, like how many times have I been what to jail and shit? Because I'm rapping, but I'm not fully focused on rapping. I'm in the streets too. You know those ones? Yeah. So. Obviously, when when you're when you're rapping, it has you have a bigger spotlight on you. The police are watching you more. Yeah. So if you're actually doing what you're rapping about, then the bottom you're obviously gonna get caught up one day. They're gonna, you know yep. what I'm saying? You're giving them tips on whatever. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. So yeah, you have to either just like you're gonna pick one. If you're not, if if you if you don't seize yourself going nowhere with the rap shit, then all right, stick with the streets. But if you see if you see that, you know what I'm saying? You might. 
<coughs> this rap shit might be able to take you out of the streets. Yeah. That fuck. What do you want to stay here for? There's nothing for us. You know what I'm saying? It's only you're going to end up dead. You know what I'm saying? You're going to end up in jail. Either one of the two and everybody knows it. You know those ones? We Facts. know it. Everyone knows it. So. Yeah. What the fuck, right? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And even like, I was listening to the interview last night with Rich, right? Yeah. And you're talking about like, you came home and you started writing a bunch of stuff, right? Like, fuck, the legal issues that we got to deal with with this rap shit, it makes us hard to go past the borders, you know what I mean? Like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> like, do you guys, do you guys deal with that, like, yeah. that ex- like experience? Like, have you guys tried to go past the border and get turned back and shit yet? No, no it's crazy because for me, for him it's different, but for me it's like, it's funny because... I don't care if they listen to that. I just turned 18, right? Mm. And I just had one. But when I dropped that come outside, I was 17, right? So, okay. whatever. The bus that's going up on it, whatever. You know what? To be honest, it dropped on my 18th. I did the shoot on my 18th birthday. Mm-hmm. So, whatever. It dropped right when I turned, touch 18. When I'm thinking, oh, fuck. This is the year everyone talks about. Yeah. 18, you have to stop. The wild shit, whatever, whatever you're doing. You're right. You have to th- make better decisions for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're 18, now you're going to go to Big Man jail. Uh, whatever, everyone says that. So I'm sort of 18, all right, let me uh, cool down at the You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe I'll feel better if I had a boy I'm uh, always on me like that shit. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, whatever. Months later, how? Now. Nah. <laughs> they hit me with like a literally a fake charge you know what I'm saying mm. like one of those ones uh, just like get you in the system yeah it's, kind of, it's not I see what where their head was at the time uh huh but I feel like they made they made it so big of a situation that they couldn't just be like oh, okay go we yeah. have to we, we look they how big look how the co- look how big the commotion was how are we letting this guy go yeah this guy real how's that gonna look on us you know what I'm saying so times on the board I'm gonna be like you have like a a look or something on you. Like for me, the boy them they don't want nothing other than the least a hammer. That's yeah. the least. That's all they want from me. And other than that, they're gonna leave me alone. I experienced it. A little bit of weed on. So I don't want that. I take it. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I know that right now. It's just one of those ones. They made it too big of a commotion. Couldn't let it go. Now I'm dealing with the. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, it, makes, yeah, it just makes it hard for us to fucking cross the border, dog. And like, yeah, I deal with that shit. change. You deal with that shit. You know we all we deal with been it. To, I haven't been in the states since two fucking thousand and nine, dog. So I haven't been in the states since I was a kid. They, yeah, they hit me with. <laughs> I, I got hit with a fucking with a well, big charge, yeah. and I haven't been able to see that fucking border since. I haven't yeah. even attempted the shit. You know what I mean, nah, I don't even think about. Well, yo, try to cross, go to Buffalo. I'm like, nah, fuck that. I ain't into it. Yeah, but yo, yeah. so um. What was the what was your feeling like when Come Outside hit two million? Two million? Yeah, like when you you hit two million views and you're like, yo, this track is like, I know one million must have been like, oh shit. But yeah, like, one million was, was the quick. oh shit, cause it was, was so quick, quick and it was, it was like, like it was mm. it was lit. I honestly was literally the first time an underground rapper did that and that. So everyone's eyes were looking at like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. So two million, I seen the pace how it was going, and it was steady. Cause after the one million, I was watching it like, holy fuck, it's still going up the same way it was going up. Yeah, it's so just I climbing. I felt it coming, so it wasn't like a whoa, cause I already seen it like whoa, cause, cause I'm keeping track on. Yeah, like, so the one million was the whoa, was the whoa, this is it. And it was fucked up. I don't know why yeah, fuck. Well, that's that's black, <laughs> and it's your 18th birthday, right? So it's a it's yeah. a birthday present to yourself. See. Definitely plan, you know what I'm saying? Our, our praise due to a lot, right? Mm. Definitely our plan for me. Because it happened like, right, like I got, I did a year in jail. I used to think about it when I was in jail too. I'm in Wyo though, it's nothing crazy. I was, yeah, yeah. I just did a year, you know what I'm saying? I would think about it all the time, like this. It's crazy because I would think about shit like this, not thinking that, okay, it's actually going to happen. Yes, all these things coming Boom, yeah. I don't know what the fuck. So it's definitely less. planned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like Everything is in God's hands. The Leafs games and stuff. How did that feel, man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a special shout out to my nigga Charlie B, right? <laughs> he mm. told me, he told me, get the clean version. Okay. I'm going to try and get it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the other shout day. Shout out to him. 
I heard it on the Raptors game in the background of the Raptors game. How yeah, that? but it, that's what's crazy for it. wasn't like a one time thing. Right? <laughs> it happened at the Leafs game and it happened, boom, and then I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. But then I realized the pain every day. Yeah. I turned the warm up. <laughs> whoa. That's big. Because I'm showing love to the DJ. A uh-huh. lot of niggas don't do that. Yeah. Shout out to the DJs. Straight up, Out of Granton. Shout out to the DJs. Get your video <laughs> packs, your DJ packs, and all that mm-hmm. stuff ready. I didn't even think it was going to hit the Raptors. Yo, this is, I called this guy I'm like yo I'm at my house I'm rolling a blunt Chilling my shorty And watching the ball game And then It's like You know you hear music Playing in the background And then I'm like It actually It clicked I'm like Come outside You don't come out I'm like yo Hold on a second Did I just hear this song At the Raptors game Like yo Yo what's going on right now And I called this guy Like yo Friday I just heard this track right now He's like yeah They played at the Leaf game first I was like Wow, all right, this that's what you know. Yeah, like, that's four this corners. Is crazy. Shout out to four corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to four corners, yo. Real yeah, nigga. Yeah, and like, even, I, I want to stay on that even. When you start hearing people singing your tune, <coughs> that's another fucking level. Like, how does that feel? I don't know how one tune or they already sing it. <laughs> Still, dog. A hit is a hit. Crazy. You got to remember that. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. a hit. It's a banger. You know what I'm saying? I only realized it because it's like, the, um, I wouldn't have took it in. I think, wait, what are you talking about? Shows and shit or just regular? Shows in the club. When or you got people club, in the yeah, club and that. they're all singing the suit tune at the same time, where like you could hear it over the fucking music, that's a hit, dog. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, you can stop. You, can, you don't even have to sing the track and they're just singing the track. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, then boom. That means you got one. Yeah, I know. <coughs> Shout out to the DJs too, right? Yeah, yeah. They're the ones it in the clubs. People, pay attention to the DJs, man. Don't forget about the DJs. Show the DJs love, man. The DJs are the ones playing it in the clubs, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, how are you really gonna ah take it back to DJs. Mike Stone? I'm in the club every week, fam. <laughs> That's a little insight. How would joke somebody the get their <laughs> DJs? Because like. What'd you say? You're, you're a young cat and you already have the DJs running your tune. And there's a lot of other cats that are on my fucking Instagram. They're everywhere trying to get on. How would a, like another rapper get their music to a DJ, dog? Come with that heat. It has to be a hit, yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you. Uh, yeah, they come up push. With a banger. I can't tell you, oh, we can just do this. And then you push it and then give it to the DJ. Mm. It tell him play. Good. No, it doesn't work. He's not going to play it, brother. It has to be a hit, yeah, but um, once it hits that level where a DJ notices that, if you play your cards right, other DJs will notice it too. Mm. Uh, fuck. And then you get that buzz going. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. RK, right. describe your style to me. Because I, I see you come through in like the, the pocket in like the third verse. A lot of times in the tracks, they don't you know, know. That's what I'm saying. They don't know. Yeah, it's I'll 2018. See. It's the RK year. <laughs> you know, my style is like, I don't want to use the word different. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's a different way of. Still, still saying the same shit, mm-hmm. but like, with more, more melody in it. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, man. I'm gonna have some shit dropping pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon. And you guys, when you guys hear that one, you guys will be able to like really be like, all right, now I know what this nigga's trying to say. Like, yeah. You know I mean? Words can't really describe how I really like flow on a track. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I hear the beat and it's like, if I wanna rap, I'll rap. You know what I mean? If I wanna sing, I'll sing. If I wanna do like some auto tune shit, I'll do some auto tune shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But facts, like you know. I wouldn't even be like that if it wasn't for this nigga still, cause like, facts in the dark, a lot of people don't know this nigga started that fucking melodic shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we were listening to a track earlier, um, Forgettable. Uh, the French Montana remix. Yeah, that was, yeah, that one was blessed though. I like or in my blunt also. Yeah. In my blunt, yeah. Queen Street West. Singing yeah. in your music. Even mm-hmm. before that, dog, this guy had a track in like, 2015. All about me. Search that one up. That one's crazy. Okay. Man, man, that was dope boy. Bef- this is before dope boy though. That's what people don't know. Like people just look yeah. at this guy and they just see dope boy. No, it's before dope boy. Yeah, you have like four projects out, dog. Like when I, cause I knew ahead of time that you're coming in. 
So I did a little research myself, and I'm yeah. <coughs> coughing my fucking ass off. This 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 right. Pink Panther is kicking my <laughs> ass, fam. Yeah. Holy! Pink and smoke's cloudy right now. Um, you have like a bio. You got mad shit out there. Like, there's a lot of like Casper information out there. Like, if you want to look for Casper as an artist, uh. so like you ready to go? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because yeah. I've been doing that shit. Yo, follow. And uh, everybody back seated over here, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Because we got an audio that comes out first, so people are gonna be listening to the audio like, what the fuck's going yeah, on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I gotta see the fucking video to see what the hell's <laughs> going on over here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. But okay, like, you have like four projects out and shit like that. Yeah, I've one, but like, because I've been rapping for a minute, you know? Yeah. Since even before people were even. I was like, okay, it's got the bag. It wasn't until like, I dropped a track called Dope Boy mm-hmm, whatever mm-hmm. in like 2015 and that was like cause before that track it was more you have the Heartless G's okay and the Sam G's and oh, the oh shout out Sam G shout out Sam G you know what I'm saying all like all the all the original Toronto artists that were doing their thing like you know those ones mm. and it was just basically straight bars right you wouldn't really hear no hooks. No. You wouldn't really hear no nothing that that's catchy or no singing or none. It's just Brian, nah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah. yeah, yeah, eating the beat. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Eating the beat. Bear, yo, where's the lighter? Mm. Yeah, just, just eating, eating the beat. Destroy it. Destroy it. You know those and then boom, I came with the dope boy, and it was different. It was like showing a dope boy, showing a rap, but like melody. You know those ones? People caught on to it. Boom, and that was like the first video that was like boom because it hit it was at well, a quarter million like a month and that was quick yeah, in those times you know those ones yeah because that was like the beginning where niggas like me robin banks you know snow dog moji all yeah, yeah. just started popping up you know those ones like there was a time like 2015 where yes yep bunch of young rappers just started popping up yep. out of nowhere and everyone started popping you know those ones yep, yeah yeah that was like one of the first tracks to do Numbers how it did, and then boom, everyone, every, everything like, then I started hearing the melodies start coming after that. Mm. Yeah, even with your views, I noticed boom. like average like, like five hundred thousand easy on your videos. Not even every video I dropped has over a million views. Right well, now. I, I'm almost, well, almost yeah. Like I'm saying, like you're you're, 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 you're about, like seven of them. There's like two or three with two million. And yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. that like your views are consistently raising and raising and raising yeah, and ra- yeah, like too. yo, they're big like i've been noticing like yeah it's a mod thing because i i came out of jail too november 3rd mm. and before that like the police were blackballing me every time i want to do a show they're canceling the venue like they're saying there's gonna be a shooting this that this that uh, just uh, painting a black a, a picture that's not right a fucking, yeah. shout out to 14 division for that <laughs> yeah, the swine, you know the super. Yeah. That's sorority. Yeah, you know, and 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 then, boom! I touch roads now, and shout out to my dog Thrilla, uh, from Ottawa. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He he brought me out for a show in Ottawa, and that was the first show that I ever did. That the police never shut down. That was the first time I performed. Right, and it was just a mod thing. Boom! We sold out Ottawa. Bless. Whatever. Boom! It was crazy. Boom, right after that, we put out like a recap video the next day, everything was mud. And then, right after that, that's when the door started opening up, opening up. You know those ones? And yeah. I guess everyone started realizing like, yo, these guys are doing shows Taking now. notes. Yeah. Like, you know, like, let's book them. You know those ones? So, boom, me and my bro, like, since then, did like three or four performances, shows, whatever. Yeah, we've been you know seen on ones? Instagram a lot. Yeah, the, the, and the last one we did on Friday at Stadium, we sold that out too. It was a, Super mod thing. Mm-hmm. Sony Records was in the cut. Nice. Oh, nice. Came to came to see the show. Fucking, fucking yeah. Like Wabel's been hogging all types of shit. No, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and like, so, based on the song, like, and from all three of y'all, and you got labels hollering now, right? Yeah. Do you guys have like label offers on the table and shit. <sighs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> keep it no, just yeah, but. Yeah. Okay, what about this? Like, I seen something the other day about. Just know there's a couple labels. 
Mm, what about Burberry? What happened with this Burberry situation? That's gross, I was in jail. <laughs> Yo, Burberry. I made a track called Burberry Closet, see? Yeah. And, um, whatever. I just like Burberry. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. you know, I yeah, just wanted to put up, on up, a yeah. I was talking Gucci. Yeah, 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 you just wanted to do your own swag. I just wanted to yeah, put exactly. my own swag exactly. on like, ah, Burberry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, fuck. It's not like I was sponsored or nothing. Like even before I, I'll be posting on my on my Instagram. Like I'm at the bur- I'm at the Burberry store. Like yeah, you know, yeah. just cop this that the, you know, just before the video even dropped. You know, just people just do your like, thing. Just do my thing. You know. Yeah. And then fuck, I came out with the video. Now I'm in the store buying shit. I I did when I went in there. RK, I'm lying. I did. Yo, my nigga, I never asked the the store yeah. owners or we whoever the, the fuck they were. I'm like, yo. Yeah, I'm I guess the man didn't shoot. think it was gonna get enough, like popular. You know? Yeah, like he thought I was average and shit. You know those ones? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He just, he like, just, what's wrong with that guy? He waved but, you off. Yeah, yeah fam, he waved me off. But he's in the video, dabs me up, everything. But he's trying to claim he doesn't know. Wow. He didn't know we were shooting a video. I never asked the store for permission. For permission, this that, this that. But Sorry, you can bro. see me clearly in there. He's dabsing me up. He's giving me my shoes. I'm trying them on. Uh, uh. Mm. I'm at the cash register. He's there smiling. Uh. Like, I hope that guy gets fired. Guy. <laughs> but, this guy's backpedaling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? And and then, so, recently now, mm. actually, no, I was in jail at the time. I called my mom, and she told me that um, some people from Burberry came to the crib or some shit and dropped off some papers about they're suing me or some shit. They're trying to, they're like, I have to... <laughs> remove the video or they're going to bring me to court and this, that, Cease this, and that. desist, basically. Oh, Cease and desist, yeah. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, you guys do that right now? Like, yeah. I just went to the store. I just, I spent bare racks in your store and they're going to tell me that I can't make a track about what, what you're doing. whatever. I don't give a fuck anyways. Fuck Burberry, but anyways, so then a couple months, then I touch roads and I still blow it off. They're sending me emails. Mm. And I'm just like, yo, what the f- What's really going on right now? Yeah. And then, fucking, whatever, I touched Rose. I ended up going back to jail for a breach. And then when I came back out now, like, just recently, these guys, boom. I get an, I get, like, these guys come and they fucking serve me some next papers again. Oh, like, yo, wow. you have until this day. Or, boom, 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 boom. We're bringing you to court, this, that, this, that. And then that's when I put it on my Instagram. I'm like, yo, fuck these guys. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. And everyone just started, fuck Burberry. They started spamming the shit out of Burberry <laughs> page. Like, like 3,000 comments on, on, on the recent post. Like, fuck Burberry. It's a Gucci thing. This, that, this, uh, that. Nice. And everything. Nice. And then, yeah. So now, they hollered back and I don't have to take the video down. Ah, ah so it, it worked you know sick and even though but i don't care I still fuck them i threw my Burberry belt in the crowd at my last show mm. had them tweaking they had a fight in the crowd you know like i don't know what they were fighting about i guess over the belt but <laughs> i'm just like look i was looking on the stage like yo what the fuck did i just do like they're fighting Holy. yeah the power man yeah, the mods, like, i made them all say fuck Burberry like four times Loud and clear. Mm. Fuck it's on camera. Huh? And oh, I told them fucking say fuck the police too. Yes. I know there was some narcs. I felt like Tupac in the Tupac movie. Mm. Like, or like NWA in that part when they were like, fuck the police. And then they got bagged. <laughs> Except they never got bagged. You can't bagged. perform the song, fuck the police. Right, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. They get bummy. They always make sure that they're in attendance when it comes to these shows. Yeah, for sure. There was some narcs in there. Like, I know there was some undercover undercovers in there. Yeah, yeah. It's but pretty, and I see some weird faces and some weird outfits. Like, what, yep. do, you do, what do you do here? Well, you see, the good thing about the character, what you guys are doing, is you're showing that the type of hip hop that y'all are doing, that a lot of people are getting that whole blacklisted from doing shows thing. Yeah. You're showing that the shit works. The promoters are packing out the place. Yeah. So yeah. now promoters are looking, saying, "Shit, yeah, I can make some I'm paper." To see. Yeah, if I'm like, no violence. Now, even, even. Other Toronto rappers, mm. they're getting blackballed. Like, no, you guys can't do shows in, yeah. in the city. Every every time they try to do a show in the city, they get shut down. But the thing with us is that the police literally hate us and they want us dead. Mm. Facts, Pro- proven fact. 
They want us dead. They just, yo, yo, I don't know if I should expose 14 Division or not. I'm just going to keep my mouth closed. But anyways, so what they wanted to do was have us do a show, which, what are we, like the first Toronto hood rappers to fucking have a show that didn't get shut down? In a long fucking in time. A, in how many years? Yeah. yeah. And, and is that coincidence? No. Because they what they wanted was... All right, you know what? You guys want to do a show? Go do your show. Mm. We're not showing up. You know those ones? Yeah, so there yeah. was no one there. How? It's a Casper and K Money show. There's no police there. No, they're gonna have a fucking. There's no. Few. There's no police outside. No, no, nothing. There's no police at all. You know those yeah, ones? Yeah. They wanted a shooting to happen. Something to happen. And for them to be able to say, "Hi, hey, look, we told you so." Mm. Look, boom. Every Toronto rapper lock off, but yeah. it didn't work out like that. Yeah, and then it worked out in our favor because now they're like, "What the fuck?" These guys did a show and there was no shooting, no nothing. Whatever, it was peaceful. Yeah, yeah. And then other promoters are like, "Yo, we book you guys." Like, yo, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. But now it's just like, you know what? Just relax. Like, we can't do too many shows in Toronto. Like, we're not trying to do a show in Toronto show in Toronto show in Toronto show in Toronto Toronto. yeah spread it out cause like what the fuck for what like so the same people show up every time and then something actually eventually does happen like fuck that shit no no spread it out fucking let everybody get a vibe yo go across Canada go every fucking way you can go we're setting up our fucking across Canada tour right now trust Ah. me Calgary, Vancouver all these places and shit London (laughs) London um, all these you know nice 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 okay the last question I want to ask y'all okay project when can we expect a project from y'all man like i want like a full length project from all three y'all together this is what i want you know what i'm saying he wants the group project <laughs> i want a group project and i want a fucking k money fucking project and i want a fucking casper project and i want to hear a solo from you <laughs> you know what i'm saying this, this is all this is my, all my wishes this, ding, 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 ding. Solo. this is all that's, things i need to check out you know solo. that's, that's what i'm saying right that's when gonna he's gonna mod. drop his solo just now so it's gonna Toronto be, be ready for that it's gonna be mud it's gonna be a mod thing you already know what it is it's the toronto amigos right here you feel me <laughs> yeah right. they're not ready for that shit what i'm telling you toronto they're not ready for a Toronto Migos, like, but we're not the Migos. We're us, obviously. You do your own mm. thing, but shout out the Migos. But shout out the Migos, though. Dude, ice trading again. Facts, facts, facts. No, fuck, dude. Okay, yeah, you're not ready. Okay, so all that's gonna be on. Um, it's gonna get checked off my yeah, list at least before March. His? Oh, I can't even promise that. Yo, the only but thing his you can see tape is right. done. My big tape done. The we're only, just waiting for the perfect times. The only thing you'll probably see is we have a new track. No, triple team? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So, yeah, I might see a video for that one still. They're not even ready for that. Like honestly, like we've been holding on some shit. Shout out my boy Ka- Calvin Roberts in the building, KR Productions. Yes, yes. Yes. Like, you know he comes with them fire visuals, like, yo, that's my dog. <laughs> He's grabbing Facts. some back, back shoot, some shoot visuals like right now. Yo, my nigga, <laughs> yo, we shooting like KR fam. We yo, yo, he yo, he comes to like almost everything we do, he's filming everything like Cause we're at a point right now. Document everything. Exactly. You yeah. have to document everything. Facts. And then at a point where it's gonna be like, yo, we're gonna just gonna drop a short film. Yeah, exactly. Because that all, all of that content we're get matters. We're to a certain point where people are gonna be like, yo, I wanna see where these guys started. You know those ones? Yeah, 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 all that yeah. content matters. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the last thing I wanna get into is our, our smoke and mirror segment that we usually do. I'm only gonna bring up one thing because we're running a little late. Um, the Kodak Black thing that we were talking about earlier. Okay. He and oh. I, we always, our smoke and mirror segment, just to let you guys know, that's our like, we talk about news current and events. Thing, current events. We talked about a bunch of shit before y'all got here in our, in our intro segment. But the one thing that I did forget is the whole Kodak Black incident that he's dealing with. The man was on live, okay? He's, uh, he's on live a lot. Cause entourage he's on, with him? Yeah, the entourage with him? He had his people there with him, right? <laughs> and he's on live a lot because he's on house arrest. <laughs> Right? So he's there running the live, and live runs for like an hour. Okay? In that hour, somebody on the live, I guess, complained about the shit. Guns and marijuana. Right? Cause they, and they seen and a loot in the background. In the background. Ooh. The boy then got a search warrant and got to his spot. Within an hour. Within an hour. So they were st- he was still on live when they fucking ran up. You have to also remember group. he's on parole or... <laughs> He's on parole or whatever. He's on probation. Probation. Yeah, because he's and still now they're saying he's looking at like twenty years. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Because they they're just pulling that oh. shit like. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. might. There's a new development on the shit. Okay. Oh, you might 
get home. So they it's might, they might give him a chance. Home. He has to, though. He has to get home. It's, it's hard right now, room. dog. It's Kodak, man, nigga. Like, after, like, the shit that he already has, the probation he's already on, like... I know, he's just building cases. He's just built... Like, he got locked up, like, four times in one year, dog. Yeah, no, 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 I've been year. through that. I've been through that, but mine was just... Mm. This nigga's a millionaire right now, dog. He's not even living in, like, the same part of Florida where he grew up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they ran up in the ill crib. And with that... He hated community. Yeah, but they said if they let him go, he has to move out of that fucking neighborhood. So move. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Buy that yeah, buy it. You know, so yeah, Move out this. and buy up everything. What do you yeah. mean off this, B? Yo, sell that house quick, dog, and go on the next stop. Fuck that. Don't even sell it. Just cut. And yeah. then sell it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have that type know. of money. Don't even let them know. Yeah, you have that type of money. Go that Just on. realize, yeah, you know what? This house has been empty for the last what six months. What's going on over here? Yeah, you know, one of those moves, like, yo, the man just up and left, he just abandoned the house. Oh, well, our God is like, shit. The border <laughs> is, is like, you're never going to get away from the border, ever. Once that they have you once. That gang, they don't play, man. Once they have you once, it's, it's over. Yeah. Especially when you, when you get put into a light where it's like everyone watches you now, they're watching you too. Yo, well, dog, he was on his live still while they ran up in the spot. So that means they got you the seen that? Hmm? You seen that? They showed it on the live in the clip. Oh, like shit. when when Fuck we run the video, like we always show like a little clips on top. So we'll run that, that clip too. You know what I'm saying? But the man was shit. still on live only for like the last little bit because yeah, he's because live only it cuts off after an hour, right? Uh, so see, yeah, yeah, no, live naturally cuts off. Like when we do our show live every once in a no while. Way. Sometimes we go longer than an hour, so the live literally it cuts. cuts yeah. yeah, and then we have to restart it. So then a second video comes up. Same so way. the man was on live long enough for them to get the warrant and then run up in the man's yard, and he's still on the thing, fam. <laughs> like that's how quick. That's how much they're on the man. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, they really want to take him down. Like when you, you really want to take anyone, any famous. young black male yeah. famous who they feel like they don't deserve they it. Um. Then they're gonna try to take you down. Like yeah, Meek yeah. Mills, little Meek. Take it down, cause we need that. They need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. need that. They need you. Yeah. They want you. They want you bagged. Like you know what I'm saying? Yo, just like, like you can't do nothing, fam. But I'm just gonna attack. Keep attacking you. That's you know the opera. Yep. Always, you know. No matter how much money you make, whoever the fuck you are is, as long as you're black male doing good for yourself. They don't want to see it. Yeah, and especially if you were uh, once involved in the street shit, and they w- and they wanted to get you before you before you before even you got made your fame, exit. Mm. Yep, sure. they wanted to get you before you even got the fame. Now you have the fame. They still want to get you. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to be like, oh, this guy's successful. Let him go. No. Yeah. They want to. Fuck. He doesn't deserve it. He'll uh, fuck up. We'll get him. Damn. My daughter's listening to his music. Uh, <laughs> fuck that guy. Skin, I wake bro. up in the morning, they Jimmy, in the morning? and my daughter's listening yeah. to their songs. All I hear is, come outside. <laughs> uh, I woke up this morning, John. <laughs> my daughter told me to come outside. Oh, oh my goodness. Daddy came when he said, come outside. Oh, my <laughs> God. Come on. That's what's going on right now. It's driving them mad. It's driving them nuts. Mad. Now they want... Wake up in the morning and his daughter's... In the bedroom, gonna get Casper. We're gonna get the whole menace music. Oh my god! I can't even talk about the way, but that the boy in my arm because it's too scary. That's too scary. Bro, honestly, do your best to get from under that web because Mm -hmm. they'll fucking hold on to your life as long as they can. Oh, for sure, they don't want. They'll suck on to you as long as they can. (laughs) If they want to give you, they want to give niggas football numbers, and it ain't even a joke. You know what I'm saying? They want to yeah. give niggas football numbers. Uh, well, you know what it is? Hashtag fuck boy them and fucking hashtag fuck Burberry. Um, let's let's um get your social medias and get yeah. our asses back to, to the fucking world world that we live in. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Let's start on this side of the table. RK, where do people find you? Find me on IG. Uh, RK from MG. But that's FRM. You know, not with an O. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Hey, money. <laughs> money is just K money with three Y's. Music. That's my IG. I only use the IG. But Spotify, K money. Just K money. See? You know, Spotify, right. that iTunes, that. See? Streams. 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 Ah. 
Stray, get the, the, the streams. Ghost. Ghost. Money, huh? That's the right. neighborhood ghost. Yeah, it's the, neighbor, it's the neighborhood ghost, man. Casper TNG, but um, yeah, you can find me on the Instagram at um, official Casper TNG, <laughs> and um, on the Twitter, um, Casper TNG. Okay. And um, Spotify Casper TNG. And the iTunes Spotify, Casper TNG. I told you I didn't know. And the SoundCloud Casper TNG. Same. Right. And Google Me too. Alright. You know me? Yeah, you know. Yo, mad respect for the man them for coming through, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah we appreciate it. Was it was a must. Exactly. It was a must. We had to because we seen that Bizlock interview. Mm. Shout out to Bizlock. Ba, 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 ba. Big interviewer. Right big there. interviewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Respect, Go man. tune into that, yeah, yes. in that interview. Tune into that interview. Big right interview. There. Give that. Get that to hundred k views. Cause yeah. I, I, fuck, like, I watched that interview like forty times. Yeah, you really was selling this <laughs> stuff before we went on air. Yo, my nigga, I watched that shit on my phone, <laughs> on the TV, mm. on anything.